Hey gang, alright, another Alkine video and I know you guys are ready for it. What's nice about this video is we're just going to be doing additions to triple bonds and the, what, like, why it's so good is that it's just like additions to double bonds, there's just an extra bond. So you'll see how this plays out once we kind of get rolling, I'm sure you're gonna, you guys are going to catch on just like that. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Let's look at something along the lines of four car, no, no, we'll do three. Just a three carbon alkyne, propyne, and let's do a reaction, maybe we just throw in some HBr, just a Markovnikov addition of HBr. So remember how mechanistically this would go, right? We know this triple bond, having three times as much of negativity as a single bond, it's very negative, very nucleophilic, right? It wants something positive, right? In HBr, that positive thing is going to be the H+, plus, right? So below, right, we have HBr. And just like with a double bond, the triple bond is going to grab H+, plus, and then we produce Br-, minus, right? So remember, one of these carbons will bond to the hydrogen. The other one loses a bond, right? And remember how in the Markovnikov addition, we always go to form the most stable carbocation, right? So we have to decide, should we put the H here or here, right? So if the H, we know the H is going to go here, giving us a secondary carbocation, right? So this is a little weird, right? We're going to go from something that's linear, and now we're not going to be linear anymore, so I'm not going to draw it straight. So I'm going to draw three carbons. There's going to be a double bond here now. And I know the H goes here, so I produce a carbocation there. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. So this is weird, right? We never really put positive charges on uh, sp2 carbons, right? But that's how the mechanism goes. So then Br- comes in. It attacks. And we have that uh, compound right there. Whenever you have something bonded to a carbon part of a double bond, an sp2 carbon, and a, uh, you know something off of it, it's called a vinyl something. So here we have a vinyl bromide. Not important, just in terminology in case you hear it. Okay, right? So that would be if we had one equivalent of HBr, right? It goes, the Markovnikov addition goes exactly the way you'd expect it to, right? Three carbons in a row. You'd say, oh, okay, I know the bromine's going to add here, because at first we protonate the double, the triple bond, positive charge goes here on the more substituted carbon, add the halogen where it should go, right? This would be our product. And if I then told you we had, oops, so if we had two equivalents, right, you do this first, then you would do another HBr, which is exactly what you expect it to be, right? You would protonate the double bond, form a carbocation here, add the bromine there. Again, it's exactly what you'd expect with a double bond, but now you just have the ability to do the addition twice, okay? So just to show you that down here, right? Form the carbocation here. Now Br- minus comes back. We add right there. You end up with both halogens, both bromines on the same carbon. So actually when you have two halogens, two things attached on the same carbon, that's being geminal. This is actually a geminal dibromide. Again, more terminology in case it comes up. Okay? So the take home point with this reaction is that you, everything you can do with a double bond, with a triple bond, it happens twice.